Okay, back again with another tip for the Behringer 2600 and just feedback in general. i um, gonna show how to do some feedback stuff with some guitar pedals. A couple of these are pretty cheap, um, but you can use a lot of different things with feedback to get some interesting results. So Basically, the preamp is running back into itself, but it's running through all these pedals. And pretty sure the order I have it going is the phase, super chorus, chorus, fuzz, metal zone, and then back to the preamp through the multiple. So um, if we turn it up, we get some feedback. All the pedals are off right now. If we turn on the phase, we get its LFO on the feedback. So this has an LFO as well. And this one has an LFO as well. So adjusting your feedback level will change what sounds you're getting. The metal zone obviously like obliterates it. The fuzz is a little more mellow. Can actually attenuate it right down with the fuzz. So you can maybe without the without the distortion. We'll try using this as a modulation source for the 2600. So got a filter here. And this is the feedback going to it. Adjusting some things.
put a splitter on the metal zone output and run it to the multiple here and gonna plug it to the other end of the multiple. And gives a more crazy feedback what's here, what it's doing. It's probably not gonna be Uh, let's just for fun, let's try the ring mod. Mix in the feedback audio. Data sample and hold, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe a little too extreme. a good modulation source. Try the filter again. Because it's feedback, it's gonna be noisier than like a normal CD. Try it out, if you have some pedals. <laughs> <laughs> 